Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth module and our final module of how to design your online course. In our last module you covered some really important topics including surface learning and deep learning and uh, the difference between an analytic and a holistic rubric and the values that rubrics bring to the teaching and learning experience for both you and your students and of course active learning. This week, you are going to apply all of that knowledge that you uh, mastered last week as you start to um, design another important component of your online course, which is going to be an assignment or a discussion. So let's take a closer look at where you are. Now, as you know, you've already progressed through modules one, two, and three in this course and completed those assignments. And this week you jump into designing an engaging assignment or discussion, and that will be the outcome of this module. I'm also going to explain that, um, or I also want to note that there are some very reflective assignments that are included in this module too, since it's the last one in your uh, online teaching preparation course sequence. So we want you to be engaging in metacognition as well as cognition, thinking about how you're learning and what you've learned, which is a really important part of um, deep learning. So in Module 4, you'll be applying a lot of terms that you uh, learned in Module 3, a lot of terms and concepts, thinking about all of that as you move into the final stretch and start to flesh out the design of an assignment or an a discussion. Okay, so again, what we are focusing on is backwards course design, starting with your course outcomes, chunking up that content into manageable bite sizes or learning modules, that are aligned with clear, measurable learning objectives that, of course, are in alignment with your course level objectives. And then this week, you start to flesh out the details of that assignment that will align with at least one learning objective in one of your modules. So that's a visual diagram of what you're going to be doing. And if we move over to Canvas, I want you to, as always, get started by looking at the Module 4 Overview, which has a description for our module, your learning objectives, as well as your to-do list. So just to point out, you're going to start and end this module with a voice thread. The first voice thread is a commenting assignment, and um, you'll be kind of working through some details of, and thinking more deeply about your teaching philosophy and how it applies to being an online instructor. The uh, final OTPP Reflections is a voice thread that you yourself will create and then submit and share with the class. In addition to that, much like Module 2, when you engaged in the online course roadmap, you're going to be working on an assignment called Designing an Assignment slash Discussion. And there are three phases, just like the last one. The first phase is due day four, the second phase, and that, that involves submitting a link to a Google Doc where you um, get some of the details of that assignment fleshed out in our discussion forum. And then you'll leave feedback for your peers, which is phase two. And phase three will be implementing any of that feedback that you found helpful and designing an assignment or discussion in your Canvas course sandbox do this module compared to last module there's a little bit of less there's a little less content and there's more assignments so keep that in mind as you move forward plan your week I know each of you is very busy if you anticipate the need for an extension on an assignment I need you to please message me directly and request that in advance of the due date thanks everyone see you online